Oh, so cold. Oh! A Russian Santa Claus. <laughs> On a tree, there is a real gingerbread. It's heaven. Unless you reach your destination. Уважаемые пассажиры. Imagine a city full of some of ours, armory and gingerbread on every corner. Where do you think I am? We are in Tula, a little town in Russia located 200 kilometers from Moscow. And it's a great idea for one day trip from the capital. And now I'm going to show you why. Let's go. Tula is one of the oldest cities of Russia. It was first mentioned in 1146 in the 12th century, which was a long, long time ago. And now we're going into the oldest building in the city. This is Tula's Kremlin, and it is very similar to the one in Moscow. And it's also made of red bricks, but 30 years younger than its Moscow cousin. And they say that it was built by the same Italian architects that built the one in Moscow. Unfortunately, we were very unlucky with the weather. It's so cold here, the snowstorm. A machine that removes snow. So I rushed to warm up in a cafe, and that's actually the place to show you the main specialty of the city, the famous Prianik of Tula. Well, actually Tula is a city of gingerbreads. Gingerbread is a traditional Russian sweet, and while it's very popular in Russia, here in Tula, you can find it literally on every corner. And gingerbread is made of special dough with honey and stuffed with condensed milk or jam. You can choose any taste you want. Gingerbread was invented in the 17th century and in the Soviet Union it was spread into masses and now it's very popular in Russia. Now we're gonna try Prianik gingerbread, uh, which was just taken from the oven and it is still hot and smells so good. Mm. First piece for you. Prianik <laughs> mm. or gingerbread right from the oven. It's heaven. And this place is also so cozy and atmospheric. You can see some of ours everywhere. Tula is indeed a city of gingerbread, as we even found a statue of Prianik and a tree where Pranics grow. You are walking in the street and then on a tree there is a real gingerbread. And another thing that a city is famous for is a samovar. In Tula's Kremlin you can also visit a museum of samovars, Russian teapots with chimney and a pipe. A very traditional set you can see here, samovar, Russian sweet bublik and then gingerbread. Here there would be fire, then coal and the water would be boiled here and the steam would come out of here. Samovar is a metal container traditionally used to heat and boil water and the heated water is typically used to make tea as Russians drink tea every day several times a day and samovars were used instead of kettles. These days you can find unique hand-painted modern samovars that work like electric kettles, but traditionalists still prefer to heat them by burning coal. And the tea from samovar has a better taste as the water is milder. And even nowadays people buy samovar as a luxurious and expensive gift to their friends. 
Another must-visit place is Tula State Museum of Weapons. This is one of the oldest museums in Russia displaying evolution of weapons. The exhibition features not only Russian weapons, but also arms from the Western Europe and North America. We're at the central street of the city, Metalistov Street. At this time of the year we can find so many different types of the New Year's trees, Christmas trees, uh, fathers of Frost. So behind me you can see a father of Frost. It's like a Santa Claus, but in Russia we have a father of Frost and he is always with his granddaughter Snigurichka, a Russian Santa Claus. <laughs> Gingerbread. It is a real gingerbread. Oh! <laughs> the city represents real Russia. As you can see, a typical provincial small town. See ancient architecture, drink tea from samovar, and try traditional sweet gingerbread. And if you were to decide to travel to Tula or not, the locals would tell you to visit it at least for this one thing. Мы всегда рады видеть гостей нашего города. Город у нас замечательный, красивый. С каждым годом становится все лучше и лучше. У нас самые красивые самовары и самые вкусные пряники. Тула за последнее время так хорошо преобразилась. Музей оружия и прочее. Провинциальная городишка стал более-менее приличным. Сюда можно приехать, посмотреть, есть на что. Творческие пряники, лапочки, все настолько пропитано. Как-то вот ощущение, да, творческая атмосфера чувствуется. Музей, Кремль, набережная, это все очень круто, это все... Ну, можно посмотреть. Да, есть Москва, Питер, но опять же ту атмосферу, которая вот есть именно в Туле, но ее вот после нигде больше не найти. 